Hi, um, I, first of all, hello. Um, I just thought I'd do another quick intro for this, uh, this second part of my New York vlog. Um, I explained in the last one, I went on holiday earlier in the year, filmed some footage. Um, in this vlog, there is a minor gas explosion um, and some shopping, uh, a meal out in Planet Hollywood, and then a, um, a Broadway trip. That was very exciting. Um, and then the next day we did the Empire State Building, did a bit more wandering, went over to Brooklyn and went to the theatre again. But there's more of that in the vlog itself to explain what that was all about. So yeah, that's what you can expect in this little vlog about to uh, be compiled for you. Um, I'll probably put another New York vlog up again in a couple of weeks time, uh, just going through it all and sorting all the footage out. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and I shall see you soon. Bye for now. So I haven't vlogged for a while. Again, I'm not very good at this. Um, right, so today we woke up, tried to leave the hotel pretty early and had to stay inside because there was a small black gas explosion outside our hotel. True story. Ideal. Um, a huge bang and then a lot of sirens and then a little announcement in the hotel to say everything's safe but there's a situation outside, can you stay in here please? Uh, thanks for that. Yeah. At no point did the hotel tell us what happened at all. We had to go on Twitter to find out, and it was that um, there's been a gas explosion by the, a couple of manhole covers have blown up or something. So we had to stay in the hotel for a couple of hours longer than we wanted to, so we didn't get off to a great start. Uh, we were going to do the Empire State this morning, but it's a pretty overcast day, so we decided to leave that to a nicer day. Um, so the first thing we did, we went to uh, Grand Central Station, had a look around there. Um, the whispering arch. That was uh, weird. Very strange. Very weird. I don't quite understand how that works, but I guess he does. More science than I care to involve myself in. Yes, what not. Um, then what did we do? Then we had to wander past the Chrysler building. Sarah lost it, despite being right underneath it. That was quite amusing. I can't see the top anymore because it's been at the top, so it sort of disappears on you. Walk down Lexington Avenue, Fifth Avenue, Madison Avenue, sang a song. Yeah. Uh, had Starbucks again. And then came to the uh, New York Public Library, which is that building behind us. And now we are in Bryant Park. That's what we're doing. Um, and now we are just figuring out whether we're going to go do a bit of shopping before we have to go back home to get ready. We go to Planet Hollywood and Broadway tonight. Um, so yeah, going to do some shopping. Check back in later. Right, so we left you at Bryant Park. Since then, <laughs> this is an amazing vlog right now. <laughs> okay, so what did we do? We got Subway up to Bloomingdale's. We did. Had a little mosey round. Stuff was so expensive we didn't even have price tags. Yeah, which is always a worry. So we left. Um, and then we went to, took some photos outside Serendipity 3, which is in the film Serendipity. Uh, then we got the tube back to the hotel. Managed to get in around all the um, construction, the workmen in the road, because they are trying to resolve the fact that the internet for the hotel is not working properly because of the minor explosion I mentioned earlier. So that's not ideal. Um, and we got ready. Went to Planet Hollywood after a small issue not being able to hail a taxi. Yeah. We thought it'd be easy, but it's not. All the taxis had people in them. So we thought we'd get the subway instead and ended up probably walking for as long as we would have. Maybe after further. Just walked to Times Square. Maybe further. Quite possibly. Um, and then after Planet Hollywood, we went to see Finding Neverland. What? What? It was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, enjoyed it thoroughly. Sorry. Um, so much better than I thought it was going to be. Funnier. I don't know why I wasn't expecting funny, but it was funny. It was funny. It was good. A lot more physical than I thought it was going to be as well. Yeah, the choreography was epic. That one is quite attractive. Uh, Kelsey Grammer was impressive. Yes. 
I'm gonna say attractive. He did steal the show a little bit. He was quite he awesome. He was pretty awesome. He was far better than I expected he was gonna be. The kids in it were just amazing. Yeah, a lot was expected of them and they did very well with it. Um, I forgot what her actual name is. The lady who played I'll find out. Like this needs factual She's just details. shuffling through her playbill. Like Laura Michelle Kelly. She had three names. I can't to remember all of them. Yeah, she but you three. didn't remember any of the child. How do you know? I just didn't say any of them. Uh, she was very, very good as well. She was. Uh, there was a small issue. Mm. With some dickheads sitting next to us. Dickheads is a pleasant way to refer to these people. Massive, massive dickheads would be another way. Uh, there was a family with three children, the youngest of which was dressed like a fairy. Not a problem with that. She, she was, was quite fine. sweet. She didn't really cause much of a fuss. She just sat on her dad's lap and. She asked a couple of questions, but they were pretty quiet. Actually watched the show. Yeah, she was excited, bless her. She had two dickhead brothers and a dickhead mother. They were the problem. Yes. One brother more than the other, but the mother I could have actually punched in the face. Um, it's a testament to how good the show was that we were able to enjoy it, despite sitting next to these fucking idiots. They just talked the whole time. They talked, wrote notes to each other, wrestled over sweets, tried to sit on... Stood up to get to the sweets. Yeah. Actually stood up in the front row. During the middle of a, like, sentimental song. Yeah, one of the slowest songs in the show. And they're standing up to get sweets. Wrestling with sweets. Um, they were also sitting on, like, the backs, like once once the seats are flipped up, they were sitting on the top of that, which meant they were like swinging about as well, um, making the whole road move as well. It was just ridiculous. We complained um, to the uh, ushers and stuff at the interval to say, do something. So I had a web with them. They're a bit better, but not much. Um, and that was quite short lived anyway. Yeah. So we were quite pissed off with all that. Just a tad. Well, we spoke to the conductor who had been pissed off with it as well. And distracted. Mm. It's just not fair. We Female said, conductor. Interesting. Mm, yeah. Nice to see. We said to her, like, was that annoying you? And she's like, yeah. I, I don't I understand why they would do that, why they behave like that. It was ridiculous. It's not like it's cheap to go and then just not even try. Not for a family of five. I, I mean, it's expensive enough for us to, never mind five yeah. people and are still nobbing about in the seat. It's so ridiculous. I don't know. But because we'd complained, um, they said we can go back and watch it again. Um, we don't know what day yet or what the seats are even going to be like, but I still think it'd be worth doing. It was so awesome. Mm, really good. The songs were brilliant and the people in the show were brilliant. Everything was brilliant. I don't think there's anything I would fault. I think I'm going to really like struggle it. not to rush to London to sit to London when it comes to London. <laughs> London trip. Is there any reason you're going to attempt to stop yourself? Money. <laughs> Like, can I have this in my Christmas present for <laughs> the next six years? Um, we had a little wander around the Disney store oh yeah. in Times Square. Crap. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Lots of child that. outfits that I wish they made as adult outfits. I always think, oh, Disney store, and then I get in there and think, there's a reason I don't like these places this much. Mm. There's never anything that's that good in there. Barely any Peter Pan stuff. Just, Just a few Tinkerbell things. It's yeah. a bit of a rubbish. Last time I went to a Disney store, actually, the only thing I was remotely interested in buying was it, like a Simba that was about like that big, <laughs> and I had to restrict myself. Three hundred pounds. It wasn't. It was like twenty pounds. Oh, it was massive it? because I thought it was a bit silly. Where would I actually keep it? <laughs> so yeah, we did that. Then we came back here, had some leftover Chinese. Very nice. Went on the internet for six million hours trying to figure out tickets for shows because we we're going to try and go and see another show later in the week if we can. We can fit it in around seeing Finding Neverland for a second. Mm. Now I need to go to bed because we're going to try and get up early. We need to. We've got so much to do tomorrow. Especially if we're going to be finishing early to go and see a show. In that case, I'm going to bed. Ta ta! Night. Hello! You can't see us that well because it's a bit when we've got some shade because it's very sunny today. Uh, but we are. Yeah, there we go. Macy's and Hi. 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 probably didn't get that at all, but Empire State Building's right there. 
Um, that's... You can do it. You can. You can see it out the side of my little shade bunker. Anywho, uh, we're just eating breakfast. Lemon muffin. Sarah has the amazing Mountain Dew. And I have some orange soda. He loves orange soda. Um, uh, then we are going to go up the Empire State Building, try and get some nice photos, and it's a nice day. Then after that, from zero, and a water taxi to Brooklyn, and then photos of the New York skyline from Brooklyn. Because it's a sunny day, so we thought we'd have a mostly photo day. And then we'll see how much time we've got left before probably Broadway tonight, so we shall see. Anywho. I might do some vlogging when we're at the top of the Empire State Building, so you can see some You will not there. be able to hear us. No, very windy, but much fun. Bye bye. Hello. Oh, you can guess where we are. Uh, yes, we're at the top of the Empire State Building, as you can see. I'll just actually spin it around a minute. Hold on. I've had my first glimpse of the Statue of Liberty. I'm much happier now. True story. Um, now, I think it's time to leave because it's quite crowded. It's a little bit busy. It took us like an hour to get up here. <laughs> That's a bit ridiculous. We had not packed up that in. No. We may need to reassess the rest of the day. Mm. Bit of a struggle. Right. Let's go. Yes. Adios. vlogging every day. You'll probably come to, you know, get used to that. Um, right, so, Tom Hardy looks nice in that poster. Sorry. Um, so we left you at the Empire State Building this morning. After that, we went to Brooklyn and took some photos of the Manhattan skyline. Very pretty. A little walk in the park. Yeah. Around the pier. People were actually sunbathing. It was that hot. Yes, yes they were. Uh, then we got the uh, East River Ferry to uh, Wall Street. Walked up Wall Street, took a slide photo of some businessmen outside a bank. Um, and then went back. Yeah. Very business. Uh, then we went to the TikTok Diner again. Had some food. Nice. It was very nice. Then we went to get ready. It took a bit longer getting ready than we should have done. Makes a change. Um, and then we had to, I would say, power, power walk. walk. Power walk slash power walk jog. With a slight jog. <laughs> <laughs> to, we, jog, we, jog, we jogged across roads. Yes, we jogged across roads, but that was partially fear of death, not just running late. Yeah, and we sort of ignored no, no. the whole green, white, white jogged. man. Anyway, um, so yeah, we've got to the theatre of Seconds to Spare. The lovely lady had but got us tickets in row D. Amazing tickets. Really good Like seats. the kind of tickets that are the premium ones that cost ridiculous money. Quite a bit of money, in fact. Yeah. Um, but a great view. And then after, so we met Matt Morrison. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have met other people too, but yeah. Matt Morrison. He was Ke quite hilarious. He kept like, stealing things off people. Yeah, he was trying to nick some girl's phone. And he was trying to be a bit humorous with the crowd. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we didn't see Kelsey Graham, he didn't come out. Uh, sad times. We might have to see if he's on Twitter or something and convince him to come out and we'll just Kelsey go Graham stalk. <laughs> hey, here's Morgan's on Twitter. Right. <laughs> Kelsey Graham could be on Twitter too. Um, I'm offended that you just agree with her. I'm talking about age group, nothing more. Although Kelsey Graham is a bit older. I don't know. Piss, so it's fine. True, true story. Cool. Uh, cool, cool. Uh, ow. Oh, so my hot dog smoke went in my eye there. It is, it's, it's difficult to walk past those things. Yeah, you think, ooh, street food, no, how American, how fun. Stinks. No. And they blow smoke in your eyes. Not impressed. No. I sort of really want to have a burrito because it's the thing. But I can't, I can't go near those no, things. No, they don't look hygienic. Even if they're fine, I'm scared of food poisoning. We had a street muffin. Yes, that was fine. It was very nice. Didn't die from that. No. But I might draw the line at meat. No, I My arm hurts, so let's stop this right now. Bye.